Okay, so this is the Anker 737 120W charger. And this is the latest line in chargers from Anker that have GAN technology. This isn't sponsored in any way, Anker have not sent me this. I've purchased this with my own money and this is my own honest and independent review of the charger. I'll also be comparing it to the standard Apple 140 watt charger that comes standard with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So to give you a sense of size, it's about the length of a standard credit card if you don't include the protruding ends of the plug. If you're in the US though, I believe you can fold the ends of the plug, whereas unlike in the UK where it's fixed. It weighs 212 grams, which is approximately the weight of a medium sized orange. In comparison to the Apple 140 watt charger, that weighs 303 grams. And in good Apple style fashion, that's 33% lighter. And this is the benefits of GAN, which you may have heard or come across. And you probably start to see a lot of GAN branding on new chargers. GAN stands for gallium nitride, which is a semiconductor material that is now being used to build chargers like this. Gallium nitride is more efficient in conducting electricity. It produces less heat, which means you can get smaller chargers like this. But they are a tad more expensive than traditional chargers. On the front of the anchor, it has two USB-C ports and one USB-A. If you are charging one device, any of the two USB-C ports can output a maximum of 100 watts, and the USB-A can output a maximum of 22.5 watts. If, however, you are charging two devices simultaneously, both USB-C ports can output a combined 120 watts. So you can probably charge two 14-inch MacBook Pros at the same time. And if you're charging three devices simultaneously, 120 watts is split between all three ports. So using this USB-C wattage throughput monitor thing, when charging my 16-inch MacBook Pro from 20% battery life, you get about 93 watts delivery with the Anker and about 131 watts with the Apple charger. And when the MacBook Pro is fully charged, you see that drop to seven to 12 watts for both the Anker and the Apple charger. Now we know the Apple charger should be quicker than the Anker, but by how much? So I tested both chargers charging the MacBook Pro from 20% to 100%. The Anker did it in two hours and four minutes. The Apple charger did it in one hour and 22 minutes. So the Apple charger is quicker by 42 minutes, which is about 34% quicker than the Anker. And whilst doing those tests, I found the Anker charger didn't get too hot. It does still feel warm to the touch though. And the Apple charger was a touch warmer than the Anker. Sorry, I don't have a temperature monitor sensor thing to get accurate readings. But as a reminder, if you wanna get the maximum wattage from the Anker charger, be sure to use a compatible USB-C cable that supports 100 watts. I'm using the Anker 100 watt braided cable. Link is in the description below, but you're free to get any USB-C cable so long as it supports 100 watts. Oh, and the USB-C MagSafe cable that comes with the MacBook is fully compatible with the Anker charger. My new complaint is the particular shape or rather the length of it. It is significantly longer. And that means it's not always gonna fit in certain places. I guess you have the same problem with the Apple charger as well. So just be mindful of where you might plug this in. There is a alternative charger if that's a major problem for you. This one is from Spigen. Normost dropped that. This one is from Spigen, also GAN technology and also 120 watts. It has a separate cable for those tight confined areas. Maybe I'll do a video on that as well. So the Apple charger is faster than the Anker, but it comes at a cost of being larger, heavier, and slightly more expensive than the Anker. Would I recommend the Anker? Yes, I think it's more versatile. It's lighter, smaller. It's actually pretty good solid quality. It's not super fast charging, yeah, but it can charge a power hungry MacBook Pro in just over two hours. It also has extra ports to charge additional devices. So for me, the Apple charger stays at home and the Anker comes with me on my travel. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.